Welcome to the tutorial. Today we are going to discuss about exception handling. In this tutorial we are going to discuss what is an exception, how to handle an exception and uh, what are the ways to prevent it. So coming to the introduction part, uh, exception handling it is a runtime error which occurs at the execution of the code. So it would terminate the flow of execution that is interrupt from the middle of the program. So exception handling can hold the error and the program continues to execute. So in a simpler way, if we do not want to terminate the program, we use exception handling. And coming to the keywords, Java provides five keywords to manage exception handling. That is try, catch, throw, throws, and finally. Let's go in detail and see how these works. Coming to the try, catch, and finally blocks. So if there is any exception in the try block, so we usually write the code in the try block. So if there is any exception in the try block, it is immediately thrown to the catch block. So exception object is created. So if there are any exceptions, exception object is created and sent to the catch block. So this try and catch statements form a unit. The catch statement immediately follows a try. A try can, can have n number of catch statements. A try can be nested. There are different scenarios. Let's not go into deep, but we'll just discuss the high level, uh, high level exception handling. So here, the scope of the catch clause is restricted to those that are specified by immediately preceding try statements. So a catch statement cannot catch an exception thrown by another try statement. So a catch cannot catch an exception thrown by a thrown by another try statement. Uh, so whatever the code that we want to monitor, we would write it in the try block, and whatever the exception that we want to handle, we would handle it in the catch block. Like code to monitor goes in try, and exception handler for exception type will go in catch. And then finally, if we want any code to be executed next coming to the multiple catches we can catch multiply like if one try statement has multiple exceptions as in we say the array index out of bounds or the arithmetic exception we can have one try block followed by two catch blocks okay and then uh, the try statements as we said it can be nested a try statement can be inside the block of another try until the catch statements succeed it continues the try statements that is it keeps entering into the nested try and then if there is no catch statement match for the try java runtime system will handle the exception so that is for try catch and finally now let's go to throw uh, throw is an another keyword that java provides us so if we want to explicitly throw our own exception, if we want to explicitly throw our own exception, we would be using throw. So the syntax would be throw, throwable instance. So the throwable instance is the exception object uh, created. So exceptional object is created in the error line code and uh, thrown to the catch handler respectively. So object is not visible to us. So we are catching the exceptions that are thrown by the java runtime system so it is possible for the user to throw an exception explicitly using throw keyword so this throw is used to uh, explicitly throw an error but this throw throwable instance must be an object of type throwable or subclass of type throwable such as we can say uh, arithmetic or null or array okay and then Coming to the uh, throwable, we'll discuss in detail with examples about the, using these final uh, try, catch, uh, finally throw and throws. This is just a high level um, understanding of what is exception handling. So coming to the throws, this is the syntax. So if a method is capable of causing an exception that it does not handle, it must specify what type of exception it may go so that the caller of the method can handle these exceptions 
so uh, a throws clause lists the type of the exception that a method might throw. So this is necessary for all the exceptions except those of type like we would say error or runtime exceptions or any of their subclasses. So all other exceptions that a method can throw must be declared in the throws clause. So this is the syntax. It should be type, method name, the parameter list, throws, the exception list. So here exception list is uh, can be separated by comma if you want to list some exceptions. So this is the high level uh, understanding of uh, hand of how to handle the, the exceptions. Uh, to go into detail, please follow my next tutorial where I'll be discussing in Eclipse how to write a code and how to handle it using these different keywords. Thank you.